Ken Russell's The Devils is the definition of a film maudit. Warner Brothers wants you to forget about this film entirely, and they regret to this day having signed on the project, let alone having single-handedly produced it. It's hard to believe these days, but Warner once stood for gritty, auteur-driven independent cinema in the 1970s. The messy home video release politics around the Devils, however, proves how quickly a studio will back down and redact the sensitive material given the consequences and backlash they might have to face from the Catholic Church and other religious groups. United Artists instantly drew back after having just read Ken Russell's daunting screenplay adaptation of Aldous Huxley's non-fiction book The Devils of Loudun. So what is the fuss all about? It all goes back to 1634 witchcraft trials in Loudun, France, against Catholic priest Urbain Grandier, played by Oliver Reed, who was accused of satanic possession by Mother Superior Jeanne des Anges, portrayed by Vanessa Redgrave. Russell, borrowing from Huxley, weaves in the story of manic obsession, where Jeanne is deeply jealous of Grandier and sexually repressed causing a mass hysteria among the convent's nuns. It is very likely that Grandier was the target of a politically motivated campaign by the powerful Cardinal Richelieu, instigating a series of exorcisms to remove him from office as governor of the independent city, which is evidently where Russell's large-scale historical exploitation sets in, Grandier's supposed deal with the devil infuriating a group of Ursuline nuns and giving them impure thoughts. The Devils not only inflates the sense of religion as politics of abuse, but turns it into a grotesque and convulsive satire. The story appears shockingly modern today. Critical of institutions, the unholy union between religion and state. A most original conception, Your Majesty, the birth of Venus. I pray that I may assist you in the birth of a new France where church and state are one. And also Russell's pop art sensibility in the most graphic blasphemous scenes, which is unthinkable even today. Consequently, the infamous rape of Christ scene is pulled from every official release. Russell's film is never innocent, breaking down Christian symbolisms to insignia of oppression and control. Women indulging in hedonistic pleasures, desecrating sanctified symbols, is a veritable case of iconoclasm itself. A feverish film which doesn't hold back, remaining a fascinating, uninhibited work of mad pleasure, and a rarity from the past when radical filmmaking of this format was a serious affair.